Welcome to LDSBookReviews.com. My name is Ryan Daly, lover of LDS books, books in general. I love them. They're great. And today we're going to be reviewing A Guide to the Joseph Smith Papyri by John Gee. Okay, I'm going to give this three stars. This is a great guide on the Joseph Smith Papyri. This is published by Farms. Uh, you can, I'm not sure if it's still published by Farms, but it was published. You can find it on secondhand uh, stores, online, eBay, things like that. Now, the reason why I like this is it's a really good overview, basic overview on the papyri and the whole narrative around the Joseph Smith papyri. Now, what's interesting is um, this does some explaining as to the Book of Abraham and its origin. Okay, it it is this is definitely a sensitive topic that's had a lot more research since and a lot more commentary since, even from the church. But I really appreciate John Gee's point of view. I know that there's some controversy around it, but there's some interesting things that he points out. And one of the things that he points out is the pieces of the Book of Abraham that we have that sit right in the middle of the Book of the Dead uh, that were given back to the church once they were found. It was assumed that a lot of it was burned in the Chicago fire, but some of it was found and then given uh, to Bruce R. McConkie uh, and then gifted to the church. Um, it's interesting because uh, as much as they settle into it, what's unique is those pieces of papyri that we have may not actually be the Book of Abraham. Um, I really appreciate that option and that potential that he gives because the description that Oliver Cowdery and Joseph Smith give of the papyri is one perfectly preserved with black and, and red markings in it. And yet what we have is not perfectly preserved and they are not, they've got no red markings on it at all. So not that that resolves any questions that people have on the book of Abraham, but it was interesting to get different perspectives. Uh, this covers what was in the papyri, how many papyri uh, were with them, were with the uh, mummies, uh, the pieces of papyri that we believe we have fit and where they fit in relation to what we had and what was lost, uh, what we don't have. It's just a really good overview of the papyri in and of itself. It's really short, quick read. It's colorful. So it's a good introduction without getting overwhelmed in a lot of the hermeneutics and a lot of the potentialities. But it's just a good, firm foundation in the Joseph Smith papyri. I really enjoyed this book. I appreciate John Gee and his work um, and his simplicity in it as well. So again, three stars. If you have an opportunity to pick it up, I'd pick it up, breeze through it. It's probably only about a half an hour to an hour read and totally worth it. If you enjoyed this, please see the rest of the reviews on LDSBookReviews.com. Thank you.